is an opportunity for Kai Havertz. So I know he's a very sadistic player. I think he lost his way a little bit at Chelsea. Like managers, went too cool, probably went. Um, gets too many really. Um, but it, uh, I think we can't tell on there who've seen that they if they can get the best out of him. Um, they've certainly done that with Martin Martin Oldegaard. He's, he's been excellent. Absolutely, yeah. He's been he's been one of the best players, and, and Mikel has got him played, uh, give him that confidence to go out and, and do that every week. So I, I hope he quite have it. It's very similar. I should imagine he plays a number eight, uh, like he did pre season, where. You know, he might have to do a little bit defending at times, but uh, like like um, Mikel, but when uh, sorry, like to check up, but when he's on the ball, he's very good. He's got to get that box and score goals, which he did in pre season. So um, it's a lot of money, but I think that Mikel's going to be really working hard with him and, and try and get the best out of it. If he get his ball back from when he was Dortmund, with that, he, he's going to be a top player. Yeah, but um, does he need to get up and running fast because of his uh, Chelsea past? And now playing for Arsenal, or yeah, the fans, the fans will give him a chance. Um, they know what sort of uh, talent he is, but yeah, you 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 got to hit the ground running as, as quickly as you can when you come into a new club because you want to get the fans behind you. And I'm sure every single fan will get behind it, um, and um, hopefully, hopefully, can get there, get, get some goal, get his first goal, get his confidence up. It was probably least about confidence at the time. I mean, he seems to have lost a little bit of confidence. And he didn't really know where his best position was because he played at front. He was up a nine for Chelsea and it was deep club. But I think he's a number eight who's, who's uh, can get forward and score your goals. So I think that's where Mikael has to seize him going forward. But again, now you're the Champions League, you need that bigger squad, more players, and and, and he's good quality. So uh, that's why probably by Mikael uh, put the money down and said, Look, let's, let's, let's hope we can get the best out of him like Odegaard and he, he can really improve our team. 